uh, the criminalization of uh, you know minorities in in this country, the enslavement of minorities in this country. So the first thing that I would do is is what the Constitution was written for in the first place was to eliminate the race box. The citizens of all free national governments, according to their national constitution, are all of one family bearing one free national name. Those who fail to recognize the free national name of their constitutional government are classed as undesirables and are subject to all inferior names and abuses and mistreatments that the citizens care to bestow upon them. And it is a sin for any group of people to violate the national constitutional laws of a free national government and cling to the names and principles that delude to slavery. Well, I, I think you have to go back to, to uh, Lincoln uh, in the 13th Amendment with 20 articles, not three. Here is section 12 of the original 13th Amendment with its 20 sections which would have saved our people a lot of trouble with reverting back to our nationality. The traffic in slaves with Africa is hereby forever prohibited on pain of death and the forfeiture of all the rights and property of persons engaged therein, and the descendants of Africans shall not be citizens. And I repeat that. And the descendants of Africans shall not be citizens. Logically, it makes sense because we would be proclaiming our nationality at that time, which is our birthright and everyone's right. Everyone has a right to a nationality. Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1948, Article 15, Section 1, everyone has a right to a nationality. Section 2, no one should be arbitrarily deprived of their nationality nor denied their right to change their nationality. Here's Amendment 13, Section 17, Clause 2 or 3. Congress may assist free persons of African descent to immigrate and colonize Africa. It is important to comprehend the terminology that is being used, such as the words immigrate and colonize. Here's the definition of the word immigrate. Leave one's own country in order to settle permanently in another. Here's the definition of the word colonize of a country or its citizens send a group of settlers to a place and establish political control over it. Come to settle among and establish political control over the indigenous people of an area. Appropriate a place or domain for one's own use. Here's the definition of the word settler. A person who moves with a group of others to live in a new country or area. These four brothers sitting here, we didn't all come from Africa. And there was a united, there was, there was a country before 1492 and our history goes way beyond 1492. So you can't start us at 1492. We were always here. We were always here. Uh, the elimination, you won't need the 14th and the 15th Amendment. The 14th and 15th Amendments brought the North and South in unit, placing the Southerners who were at that time without power with the constitutional body of power. And at that time, 1865, the free national constitution law that was enforced since 1774 declared all men equal and free. And if all men are declared by the free national constitution to be free and equal, since that constitution has never been changed, there is no need for the application of the 14th and 15th amendments for the salvation of our people and citizens. It was more than about having a dream. It was about, you know, the continuance of a dream and the continuance of us as a, as a fallen people in this country to uplift ourselves into humanity and be a part of the constitution and be a part of law and be a part of this society. There is but one issue 
for them to be recognized by this government and of the earth, and it comes only through the connection of the Morris Divine National Movement, which is incorporated in this government and recognized by all other nations of the world. And through it, they and their children can receive their divine rights unmolested by the other citizens that they can cast a free national ballot at the polls under the free national constitution of the state's government and not under a granted privilege as has been the existing condition for many generations. 1971, you see the point? When they all um, incorporated turned the republic into a corporation. The idea that the United States is a corporation, right? Yes. Well, it is. That That's yeah. true. The United yeah. States is a corporation. In order to put the Moors later, uh, as they did earlier, solidify the 14th Amendment artificial person in the state of Delaware as Christian property. This is why such persons are called Negro, Black, and Coloreds, and what do they call themselves this week, can't vote with them names that don't belong to them except that the overseer, or what you call the CEO, through the Senate, agrees that their cattle can vote as three-fifths persons because they have no name and nationality. When you understand these, the history from a law perspective, your view will change from it just being some historical flaw or some little dirty trick that the Europeans do. You would need to understand its political ramifications. If you transact business in another man's name, don't talk about estates and don't talk about property because you don't even own your own body. You know, race is a social construct and it was invented. And it was invented in this country, right, to, to talk and to call each other black, white, colored, Negro, African-American, whatever label you choose. The word Negro deludes in the Latin language to the word nigger the same as the word colored deludes to anything that is painted, varnished, and dyed. And every nation must bear a national decent name of their forefathers, because honoring thy fathers and thy mothers, your days will be lengthened upon this earth. These names have never been recognized by any true American citizens of this day. Through your free national name, you are known and recognized by all nations of the earth that are recognized by said national government in which they live. And I would say this to all of you, all of us who have traveled outside of the United States, when you travel outside of the United States, whatever country you enter into, you never ever say you're black and you never signify as white. You never, ever say you're black and you never signify as white. If Italians, Greeks, English, Chinese, Japanese, Turks, and Arabians are forced to proclaim their free national name and religion before the constitutional government of the United States of America, it is no more than right that the law should be enforced upon all other American citizens alike. In all other governments, when a man is born and raised there and asks for his national decent name, and if he fails to give it, he is misused, imprisoned, or exiled. And any group of people that fail to answer up to the constitutional standards of law by name and principles, because to be a citizen of any government, you must claim your national decent name because they place their trust upon issue and names formed by their forefathers. I would eliminate the race box. I love my people and I desire their unity and mine back to their own national and divine standard because day by day they have been violating the national and constitutional laws of their government by claiming names and principles that are unconstitutional. When you talk about the greatest leaders 
of all time. They were all servants. Jesus Christ, Buddha, Mohammed, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Martin Luther King. When you talk about leaders of men and leaders of a society and people who inspire, they were all servants to mankind in trying to uplift humanity. So I, the prophet, am hereby calling aloud with a divine plea to all true American citizens to help me to remove this great sin which has been committed and is being practiced by my people in the United States of America because they know it is not the true and divine way and without understanding they have fallen from the true light into utter darkness of sin. And there is not a nation on earth today that will recognize them socially, religiously, politically, or economically, ETC. In their present condition of their endeavorment, in which they themselves try to force upon a civilized world, they will not refrain from their sinful ways of action and their deeds have brought them Jim Crowism, segregation, and everything that brings harm to human beings on earth. And they fought the Southerner for all these great misuses. But I have traveled in the South and have examined conditions there. And it is the works of my people continuously practicing the things which bring dishonor, disgrace, and disrespect to any nation that lives the life. And I am hereby calling on all true American citizens for moral support and finance to help me in my great missionary work to bring my people out of darkness into marvelous light.